So the following is uh, a report of the extraordinary meeting of the Ministerial Committee of the Organ Troika, which was held on the 26th of September 2023. Uh, adoption of the agenda. The extraordinary meeting of the Troika of the Ministerial Committee of the Organ uh, considered they adopted the draft agenda as presented by the Secretariat. Update on the elections in the region. And today we are going to focus on Zimbabwe general elections which were held on the 23rd and 24th of, of August 2023. The EOMCO tracker noted that the SADC electoral observation mission was deployed to Zimbabwe to observe the harmonized elections which took place on the 23rd to the 24th of August 2023. In accordance with the SADC principles and guidelines governing democratic elections, the chairperson of the organ, His Excellency Hakainde Hichilema, President of the Republic of Zambia appointed Neva Smumba, the former vice president of the former vice president of Zambia, to lead the observation mission to Zimbabwe. Troika also noted that the SEOM is mandated to observe elections in terms of the SADC principles and guidelines governing democratic elections, which all SADC member states signed and adopted and have been operational since two zero zero four. The, EOMC, the EOMCO tracker further noted that all SADC member states sent individuals to serve as observers under SEOM each time another SADC member states conduct elections. For the purposes of the August 2023 harmonized elections, observers were seconded from the Republic of Angola, Botswana, Eswatini, Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, South Africa, Tanzania, and Zambia. They also noted that in terms of section 6.1.3, the chairperson of the organ shall receive the reports and reports of the SADC Electoral Advisory Council on matters pertaining to elections, the enhancement of democracy and good governance in the SADC region, and the reports of the SADC Electoral Observer Mission are handled in terms of section 11.8 of the principles and guidelines, the SEOM issues a pre preliminary statement immediately after the close of polls. The statement outlines the initial findings of the SEOM. Troika also noted that the Zimbabwe SEOM issued its statement on the 25th of August 2023 and is stipulated by section 11. Point eight point one of the principles and guidelines, the, OS, the SEOM should produce its final report within 30 days and submit to the member state that held the relevant election. Troika further noted that since 30 days have lapsed, the Zimbabwe SEOM report has been finalized for submission to the chairperson of the organ for onward transmission to the head of, to the head of state and the electoral management body of the Republic of Zimbabwe, that is ZEC. Troika noted that in terms of section 11,8,2, when SEOMs officially submit their election reports, member states which held elections may, number one, consider the recommendations advanced by the SEOM for improving the conduct of elections. Number two, submit to the chair of the organ a response to the SEOM report. Troika also noted with concern the personal attacks and threats on the media that have been directed to the SEOM head of state's mission, Dr. Nevis Mumba, and the chairperson of the organ, that is the president of Zambia, Hakainde Ichilemba, since the Zimbabwe SOM re released its preliminary statement on the 25th of August 2023. The attacks were made by individuals in the ruling ZANU-PF political party, and some in high-level positions in the government of Zimbabwe. The narrative in these attacks have been that the SEOM play preliminary statement on the Zimbabwean elections was personally authored by Dr. Nevers Momba. Troika further noted that such attacks undermine the SADC principles and guidelines governing democratic elections and might have a negative bearing uh, on the SEOMs that are to be deployed in the future elections, especially with another election coming on the 29th of September in the Kingdom of Eswatini. 
and reiterated that SEOMs are in line with the SADAC principles and guidelines governing democratic elections and that reports are produced by a collective of member states observers led by the organ Troika and supported by the Secretariat. The EOMCO Troika noted that there is a risk that if unchecked, further attacks of, on the leadership of the organ and the SOM have the potential to damage the credibility of SADAC as an institution. The EOMCO acknowledged and commended the Secretariat for taking the initiative to issue media statements that clarified the procedures that are followed by the SEOM and in the same statements for protecting the credibility and leadership of the organ and the SEOM on the basis of paragraphs 228 and paragraphs 229 above and in order to manage the situation and advert future attacks on the leadership of the organ and SOMs and restore the dignity and resilience of SADAC and its long-standing structures, the EOMCO Troika recommended as follows. Number one, the Secretariat to remain proactive in its efforts at protecting the credibility and the leadership of the SADAC structures such as the SEOM. Given that some circumstances are not predictable and that there will always be some individuals who will not agree with the SOM, all reports and statements should be crafted in a manner that ensures relevant procedures and rules are followed to protect the SADAC institutions from unwarranted attacks. Item 3. Continue to field technically experienced staff from the Secretariat who are complemented by capacitated observers to facilitate the work of the SEOM. And finally, the Secretariat to ensure that the organ Troika member state continues um, continues to process, adopt and own the reports of the SEOM so as to avoid unwarranted suggestions that the reports are the product of one individual or one member state. So no report Yaka Piwa uh committing on the twenty sixth of September uh, meeting at Troika uh, by SADAC concerning my elections I get ku ku Zimbabwe. Uh, then for my decisions, decisions number one, update of elections in the region. Uh, the EOMCEO MCO Troika recommended to the EOOTS to number one express deep concern on the personal attacks that were made by some individuals against the chairperson of the organ and the head of the SADAC electoral observer mission to the harmonized elections that were held in Zimbabwe in August 2023, and commend Dr. Nevers Mumba, the former vice president of Zambia, for his leadership of the SADAC electoral observer mission to Zimbabwe. The experts who were seconded by SADAC member states to serve as observers during the harmonized elections in Zimbabwe and Secretariat for protecting the credibility and leadership of the SADAC organ and the SADAC electoral observer mission. And lastly, direct the Secretariat to ensure that the organ Troika, the organ Troika member states continue to process, adopt and own the reports of the SEOM. So this is in brief the report Ya Kabuda Kuvaku Zambia. Guys, please just tell us what you think about this report in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Your subscription means a lot. Thank you so much, guys, for always choosing this channel. Thank you so much, guys, for paying attention. I know this is a long report, guys. 10 minutes is is, is is long, but I think it's worth to tell you uh, what is the next step for Zimbabwe because a lot of people are curious to know, okay, what are Zimbabweans going to do if in Sadak, Zimbabwe, considering also that Sadak is not going to interfere more governance on politics in Zimbabwe, as this may be deemed social media as an attack to democracy in the Republic of Zimbabwe. So guys, in the comment section, please, 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 please tell us what you think. Tell us what you think about this report. Uh, in my key players, Nelson Chamisa, Emerson Mnangagwa, Hichilema, 
na Nevers Mumba. Ndoma key players of this whole thing. Thank you so much guys. Till we meet again in the next video.